Hey guys, it's Techran here. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to stream on Kick like a pro. That is right. We're going to teach you how to set up your stream, how to set up your settings, and on top of that, how to set up your alerts and also chat bots. So let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to teach you how to do is set up a stream key. That is right. If you don't have this, you won't be able to stream onto your platform. So you want to just create an account to Kick. Then what you want to do is go into your settings. When you're in your settings, you then want to go under stream key. Now, don't share this with anyone. The key part of it, the URL doesn't really matter. We want that as well, but you do not want to share this. So what I'm going to do is copy my URL. I'm going to put it on a notepad and I'm going to do the exact same thing with my stream key. So that way I can just go back and grab them. So what we're going to do now is go into our settings of OBS go into here go under stream and what we want to do is go under custom now when you're custom what you want to do is take that URL setting and place that there then place your ski stream or stream key in there so we're gonna go back copy the stream key and when we copy that we're just gonna paste that on into our OBS with that we had the base settings done for actually streaming to kick. Now, let's go over settings that you're going to need to use in order to stream to kick that have the best possible settings. So what we're gonna do is go into our output setting and then we wanna make sure our settings are on advanced so that way we can get a little bit more complex with this. And what we wanna do is enable our coder to be our GPU encoder. Unless you don't have a GPU encoder, you have like an AMD encoder, so depending on which one you have. But if you have an AMD, I recommend you use it. And we wanna set the base resolution to 1920 by 1080, you can just leave this as is. And then you wanna set the current Control bitrate to CBR and when you want to for bit rates 5,000 because if you guys do not know for Twitch the maximum bit rate is actually 6,000 unless you're a partner and then you can mess around with it but for actually kick it's 5,000 no I have been told from other people you can't do 8,500 however I have not tested it yet and it only says 5,000 is the maximum bit rate for kick so I'm gonna leave it as is just because it's giving me a good quality streams anyway so I don't want to mess with it and then you want to just have the rest of the settings just like this and with that we're all good to go now we want to go into our video setting now you want to just set it to 1920 by 1080 for both of them and then for downscale you don't need to mess with this at all and just have the con uh, common FPS just be 60. With that, you have the best possible settings for actually just streaming the kick. So now that you have the best possible settings, you might be wondering, how do I set up alerts for my stream? So that's what we're going to do next here. What we're going to do is go on to our Google Chrome. And what we want to do is go to mods. And what we want to do is add a mod. So you can see right here, I have bot tricks live. So I'm just going to remove this to showcase how to set it up for you guys. So we're going to remove that. And we want to go add a new mod. And we want to look up bot tricks live. Now, what you're going to do is just add this. And this is going to be your bot you're going to use for your alert and chat bot. Now what I want you to do is look up Bot Tricks Live actually on Google Chrome and then when that looks it up you'll be able to see it right here and you want to just sign on into it. So you can see I'm already signed into it. If you don't have it signed into it just get set up real quick. I'll actually go through the process of signing in with you guys. So we just want to sign in to one of the following platforms that we use. For me primarily I'm just going to sign in my Twitch so we're going to click on Twitch. And once it's signed in here, you can see you have your Twitch access and some of your other stuff linked. Now, I'm going to delete my kick for the time being because when I saw other people do this video, they did not specify how to do it properly. So we're going to unlink our kick. Now, what we're going to do is add our kick since we're already signed in with our Twitch. We want to link it so that way we get the alerts for it. Now, what we're going to do is look up our username. So mine's Gman Gaming. Also, make sure to follow me on kick. You know what I'm saying? And once we have this, we just click accept and we'll make sure to click continue. And it's going to take us to our mods. So you can see it has our mods now. Now, what we're going to do is go back to the page before it's going to give this actual like command link so we want to copy this command link and click on the url right here it gives us because if you do it in your normal chat it won't work so we want to go in here paste this and when it does it it should automatically link it up to your chat so it says you successful linked it up so now your bot will work for alert and also the chat in itself and with that we want to click finish now what we want to do is add our alerts so what we're going to do is go to alerts on the page we want to go under here and just click the url now this is really cool because these alerts can work for twitch kick and also youtube all the exact same time i actually do like it because then i don't mess with my settings too much if i just want to have everything on one platform you have access to that and we're going to take this url and go into our obs and add it so we're going to add a browser source of course and we're going to click on browser click ok you can call it kick alerts if you want to i'm not going to do that for the time being and we want to just paste it like so once we have access to this you're going to see we have our alerts and if we were to click like our was it raid button So you can see 
it works now of course you can go in here and mess with all the settings like you want they actually have some normal stuff set up for you so if you want to upload your own image you can upload your own image for here if you want to actually add a gif and stuff like that you've access that and search up gifs and the same thing can be said for sound effects you want to upload your own sound effect you can do that and you can also mess with the actual sound effects in themselves that's already here and i will say the library to this is really cool so if you just want a classic bit of bit, bit effect you have access to that which is honestly sick and then the same is said about everything else. You can really mess with all the settings however you like. I'm not going to go too crazy about it, but you can get customized into your likings if you want to. So, yeah. So now that we have alerts set up, what we want to do next is set up the chat bot. So we're going to go under chat bot. We're going to click on commands and then we can start adding commands. So you can see right here, I have some of them already set up like YouTube and stuff, but I'm going to set up a new one with you guys so you guys know how to do it for yourself. So we're going to click on add a command and we're just going to call it something silly like, uh, what's it called? Oh, Twitch, I guess we could just talk about our old Twitch because why not? Hey, check me out on Twitch because I'll probably still be live there once in a while. So you can see I'm gonna add my Twitch command. I'm gonna say, follow me on Twitch, which is kind of wrong because I'll probably be streaming on uh, Kickmost. And of course you can make these actual commands pop up on different platforms. So for me personally, what I'm gonna do is I don't use Trovo. I use Twitch, I use YouTube. I don't have for discord so we're going to disable that so now if we use this command on any of these three platforms it will pop up so we're just going to say confirm and what we're going to do now is go to kick our channel and within our channel we just want to go to chat so if i was to watch type up twitch now it should give me says follow me on twitch so our bot now works and now this bot does have access to some other things you can customize it to have like level rewards and stuff like that and also set up timers so if you want to have like a timer go off after every five minutes you can do so so let's say follow me on twitch and then of course after five minutes goes by or how many minutes you want to set it will set it to it'll then say a message at that time so yeah pretty cool i'm gonna set this up for youtube though because this is more useful for youtube than the actual uh twitch and of course you can specify what platforms you want to use it on now you might be wondering how do i set up my kick chat so if you want to have access to your kick chat what we're going to do is go back into widgets we're going to go under our chat right here and you can specify which one you want this for so for me i set it for twitch and also kick so that way i can use it for both platforms i actually originally was using stream elements but then i realized i could do this with it and i'm like okay i'm gonna use this instead because it's just so much better so we're gonna then copy this url and we're gonna then of course add a new browser source within browser source we want to click on this and when we're in here we're gonna click okay you call it kick chat if you want to and we're just gonna paste this like so and then we're gonna set that randomly right here for the time being so now when we go into our chat we say test it will instantly pop up right here and you can customize this to however you like so if you don't want it to be like super like uh annoying you want to have something like that, a simpler style so you can do like skyle sky like, oh no some of these are premiums i forgot uh if you want to do something just simple like white so that is white if you want to do cake you can do cake so that is cake and then if you want to just do to the side there's a side and this one's more of the one that most people usually use where it's like transparent so if now if we were gonna go type test you'll see it's actually gonna be transparent if it sends the message i also forgot when you update the kick url for uh, the chat you need to actually recopy it so let me redo that again and with that we're gonna click okay and then we're gonna type test i forgot about that and with that you can see it's transparent now so if you want to have a transparent chat you can do so which is pretty hype now you can of course get way more crazy than this to set up sub goals follower goals and a few other things but if you're going to use these i would recommend using the actual normal goals for uh twitch if you can separate them and then use this actual app in itself for actually kick so now that we have everything set up so what we need to do now is go live so if we set up everything perfectly we can just click go live and then if we go to kick.com under our stream also check your dashboard you're gonna click your dashboard i almost forgot about that silly me so we're gonna see now we're live now so let me just mute myself at there but you can see we're now live on kick and our stream settings are perfectly fine and if i really want to test them out i could just always like send an alert and of course since we have our kick linked up through our bot right here we can just like of course you know test it by using the alerts and then see if it works I 
I, I will say it looks very, very, I, I, this, this, this turned out way better than I anticipated. I like that little alert. It's probably my favorite one. You couldn't tell already. Anyways, though, with that, Tidy Step, your kick stream for, you know, streaming. So if you guys did find this video helpful here today, then you know what to do. Make sure to smash the like button. Get subscribed because we're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers here on our tech channel. So that'd be very much appreciated. But until then, I'll see you guys again for another video. G-Man, out.